welcome back so in this episode um we are going to look at fast styling but before in our previous episode we looked at all these four concepts we created a github repository and then we created our next.js project i explained the folders in that next.js project and we did one thing that was nice which is routing in next.js so this routing is for next.js if you could look at reacting um making pages in react is different but since we are using next.js a framework of react we have here this um we have this kind of routing and i went ahead and i explained this kind of routing in the app folder and we went ahead and we made all these uh, routes for about contact work and we also looked at how you create um the content inside a, a route by creating just a function and you export it as a default okay so now um after that one is being done what you want to see is working with styling so i'm just going to come here and i take text and i'm just going to write here styling so i want to talk about styling and i'm also going to say styling next.js project uh next.js with sas now if you have been watching all my youtube tutorials you know i like using sas and i i think it is the best way to work in your project whether you're using normal html or you're using just css okay so to do the styling and let me just name this one to be the fifth okay uh to do the styling using uh this next.js with sas if you want to start styling you see by default when you don't install tailwind they start uh, styling your app using the css now you know all the limitations of css okay we know all the limitations of css and for that matter uh we are going to focus using sas and i like using sas because of the flexibility it comes with so uh we are going to first install sas and the command for installing sas is npm install sas as simple as that so we'll first install our sas before we use it so i'm just going to come here so you can pause the server or you can just open a new tab so here if you're using git bash or whatever you are using just simply come here and click this plus it will give you the second terminal here and if you want to use bash if you install the git bash you can click here and you say use set default you can use git bash at default like the way used here and if you use if you're happy with powershell you can continue using powershell so here i'm just going to say npm install and by the way you can even summarize this word install by just saying i so you can say npm i and you put sas this i means install you could write the whole word or you could just write i so npm i sas and you place enter now this of course is going to start downloading using your internet that's why you need to have internet uh, most of the times because we keep installing these dependencies now you can see here it takes some few seconds and it has finished okay so i'm going to show you this uh phone zero vulnerabilities and if you want to confirm it has installed go back to your package.json and go and look under dependencies and you see now on the dependencies we have a new dependency called sas okay now if you have confirmed that sas has been installed now just the step number one is to change 
your global CSS into a CSS. So I'm just coming here and I say change global CSS into global dot scss okay so this is what you need to do so change the global um the global css into global dot scss so i'll just come here rename right click uh scroll down to rename and then simply add s to make it a css just like this next you go to your layout page remember we had connected it we connect css via this file here on top here so just come back here and change this from css to scss also just like this so that it matches with this global.scss it matches on top here okay now this is great now if you go back if you want to know that it is working what i'm just going to do is i'm going to create this as a variable i want to know if this uh, sas is working i'm just going to cut this one and let me go on top here create a variable i can even create it here so let me just say dollar uh, primary and let me just paste this color here sky blue and now let me come and uh, use it here dollar primary okay now if this is really sus that it has worked then this one should work so if i just go back to the website i can refresh and let's just make it like red to really confirm okay that it is working okay so you can see successfully our sas is working okay i'm just going to take it back to sky blue okay so this confirmed that our sas has been well connected to our project and it is, is as easy as these three steps okay there are three steps we have done uh so here let me just also put another point so also change uh global so in let me just first here in layout i'm just going to say in layout.js okay just change also this i'm just going to copy this so you change it in two places okay you change your layout in the layout.js change this to you can change global css into a css and this is what we did into the layout page here we changed this one into a css and everything worked magically okay now that you guys you have connected styles uh connected sas uh, let's do our next thing so um, i'm just going to leave uh studies alone i'm just going to make this episode just alone like that so in the next episode we are going to start looking at creating components okay so thank you for watching and see you in the next episode